Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for another planner video. I'm here with an exciting shop my sticker stash video. So I recently changed up my sticker storage uh, situation. Ooh, tongue twister. Say that five times fast. And I'm really happy with how I've set up my sticker storage situation. I used to have all my sticker books in a drawer in my desk, which was fun and great. But I felt like, <laughs> first of all, it, it felt like I was always digging through sticker books to find like the perfect sticker. And also it just made that desk drawer really heavy and hard to kind of shut. And also they were all kind of like stacked on top of each other. So I, was, I always have to like flip through multiple sticker books to find the sticker book that I wanted. And I also just felt like, um, like I, I wanted to kind of just narrow my focus and force myself to like just use the stickers I have. And so I decided to, um, I found this little guy here. I, I was on the search for like a little sticker holder. So I found this little like um, wood and like basket weave. Uh, I don't know what this is, like a paper holder. I found this at my local Goodwill for a few dollars and I thought that would be perfect to hold sticker books. It was like the exact size for sticker books. And I decided to just grab this little guy fill it with sticker books and just leave it on my desk like on the very top of my desk so that way my stickers are like you know I have a nice little collection there that I can enjoy just seeing on my desk I can just easily grab stickers when I want to and it also limits my selection I grabbed I took all of my sticker books that were in my desk drawer put them in my craft cart and put my craft cart in my closet and um, that's like a perfect solution for me because I can always just grab my cart, my craft cart out of the closet when I feel like, you know, having like a major crafting session. I can just grab that out of my closet and pull it out and we're good to go. And because it's in my craft cart, it's like um, it's a mobile craft cart. It's like one with wheels on it. Like I can just grab that and move it around really easily. So it doesn't bother me that it's in my closet. I can just pull it out whenever. And that way I'm just not distracted when I'm at my office desk because all my stickers were in my office desk and I would be like in the middle of my like work session and then I would suddenly feel like I wanted to like decorate my like my page and then I went to my sticker collection and I just ended up spending like five minutes looking for my sticker whereas having just like my little collection here on my desk it satisfies my need to have, you know, to just grab a sticker when I feel like it, but also like limits me to like just grabbing, you know, what I have here at my desk. And also I put in some sticker books in here that I want to focus on finishing. Like I want to finish sticker books. I want to not just like hoard them. I want to actually use them. So I pulled out some sticker books, uh, kind of at random, but also with some purpose. And so we're just gonna go through, and I'm gonna share with you what sticker books I have in my little like basket here and what I've decided to use for probably like a week or two. I'll probably hold on to these for about maybe two weeks and then I'll switch it out or maybe a week, I'm not sure. So let's go into it. So the first thing that I have here is actually like um, a deconstructed sticker book. This is from Recollections and it was their bright sticker book. So those sticker books that are a little bit taller than like traditional Happy Planner sticker books. And this is deconstructed because I, most of those, most of these stickers are from that sticker book. But at one point in time, I had other stickers from other Recollections sticker books also in this sticker book. And I had it all like clipped together on like a ring which I took off because it was annoying me. I might put that back on though now that it's in this format. But at some point of time I finished all the other stickers and now I just have the stickers from this uh, recollection sticker book in here. But I used um, scrapbook paper to like give it a little cover and um, I might you know one day add more 
recollection stickers into here but right now i'm just trying to finish the sticker book i do like these stickers um they're a lot of fun i feel like these stickers are really underrated you get so many stickers for such a good price and i really like bright and whimsical stickers so i wanted to have this close at hand i also just want to finish this sticker book so i have that in here and then i have two sweet kawaii design sticker books i have the crafty one which is one of my all-time favorites i've used a lot of stickers from this uh from the sticker book very very cute i love sweet kawaii design i'm actually um thinking of signing up for the monthly subscription service to sweet kawaii design so this one again is the crafty one it has tons of cute little crafting icons and so i thought that was perfect and i wanted to also diversify the types of stickers i had in my little like collection here so i made sure to grab some ones that were not from happy planner and then this one is also from Sweet Kawaii Design, but this is like their farmer market uh, sticker book. I haven't used this one as much as the crafty one, but it's also really, really cute. Love their icons. Adorable. Yeah, so I just have this baby here. And we have so many stickers in this collection. So I have two of those. I pulled for my digital detox sticker book from the Happy Planner. Um, I wanted to have this one out because it's so easy to just get sucked into the digital electronic world, especially if you work <clears throat> almost exclusively on computers for your work. So yeah, I just wanted to have that out there. I also pulled for this Disney Princess Elegance sticker book. This is a relatively new addition to my sticker collection. And when this first came out, I wasn't like super into it, but the more I looked at it, the more I fell in love with it. And finally I decided to pick it up when it was on sale. So we have just a bunch of beautiful stickers in here. And I felt like this one was a nice sticker book to pull for when I'm not feeling like being super bright in my sticker book. I also grabbed a household sticker book just in case I wanted to pull for more like household related types of stickers. This one's the Let's Stay Home sticker book from their like homebody collection. Also a relatively new addition to my sticker collection. So I just wanted to grab for that one. Very cute. And then also a new sticker book to my collection. This is the Modern Farmhouse. I wanted this one for such a long time when it was first released. And then it just disappeared from Joann's. And I was never able to find it again until I found it at Hobby Lobby. And I was so happy to see it at Hobby Lobby. And so I picked it up. This is probably one of my all-time favorite sticker books that Happy Planner has ever released. I just love the color palette. I love all of the coffee images. I do really like the modern farmhouse aesthetic. So I just, I wanted to have that out. So pulled for this one. Also a new sticker book. I feel like I've mostly like gravitated towards new sticker books in this first like shot my stash. This is the Fresh Botanical sticker book. I love these beautiful botanical vintage illustrations. Love the color palettes of like purples and greens and peaches. Adorable, amazing. I love this thing so much. And so yeah, I just got it. So I wanted to, you know, play around with it. So I pulled for that one. And then I pulled for my Peace Within sticker book. This one is like a faith a faith sticker book lots of nice quotes um i want to you know continue to like remind myself to you know prioritize my spirituality and pray and live my best god fearing life so i wanted to have it out there i also wanted to have the villains sticker book out because this is also relatively new to my collection and it's just so amazing i love this sticker book so much and 
I really wanted to have like a mini out because I just realized that the mini size is perfect for my desk pad. Um, so if I want to do a desk pad plan with me or if I want to use my desk pad, um, I can reach for these mini stickers. And the last happy planner sticker book I have is another like newish addition to my sticker collection. This is the Bold and Bright and it's so fun and whimsical and just happy that I just wanted to have it out and play around with it. It's so my style. It's very graphic, almost retro, but kind of like if retro was given a modern twist. So happy to have that baby out. I'm probably going to leave these um, sticker books here on my desk for another week or so because I feel like I haven't gotten into them as much as I want to. And then I pulled for this one. This is a Bando sticker book I got at Barnes and Nobles with a bunch of just cute decorative stickers in like various um, shades of rainbow and yeah it just goes from all the colors of the rainbow and it's just amazing for when you want just like a cute icon and especially if you want like a particular color of a sticker. Sometimes I'm like working in a particular color palette and so it's very easy to just reach for this book, look up like a green sticker, a blue sticker, a pink sticker and just find something there. Okay, so this is a sticker book that I'm trying to finish. Um, this is a This Is Us sticker book. These were at Joann's for a while and then they all like went on clearance. These are cute stickers and I'm definitely like happy I picked it up. I picked it up when it was like $2 on clearance and I actually have like a bunch of um, stickers that aren't necessarily from the sticker book also kind of just like tucked into here um, that are like similar sizes. And I'm just trying to finish these stickers and get through these stickers. Uh, I don't have that many left and a lot of these are like functional stickers so yeah I'm just um, and so I just tuck in these loose pages in here and um, let me see if I can tuck them in nicely so this this is a sticker book very very cute uh, but definitely trying to finish up the sticker book so I just have it in here and then the last sticker book I have is a Japanese sticker book I got from this Japanese bookstore in LA. And this one is so cute. It's filled with uh, beautiful, realistic florals that are really nicely cut. They don't have um, like a strong white border around them for most of them. And so they just fit really well on the page. And yeah, they're just all kinds of flowers, really beautifully done, very realistic. Um, and they're just so cute. So because it's spring, of course, I had to pull for some kind of floral sticker book. So I went with this baby here. These are gorgeous. What are these? Japanese mums. So I just have this here. And that is it. That's all that I have in my shop, my stash. So let me put these back into my little um, basket, my sticker holder. I really like how I've set them up in here and I feel like I've definitely <laughs> cleared up a distraction in my office and also just allowed myself to focus on um, on a, a particular number of sticker books and this way I feel like I can really like dive into a couple of sticker books for you know a week or two and then put them away and then rotate them for a fresh batch that way i'm ensuring that i'm like rotating through my sticker books and also just um making sure each one gets some use that i'm discovering old favorites and that way it just kind of keeps you know my sticker collection fresh and new and yeah so i'm just i'm trying to go on a sticker and planner no buy for the rest of the year so i feel like this is going to be a way that um keeps me like rediscovering old favorites and shopping my stash so thank you so much for tuning in for another planner video um let me know what sticker books you're currently loving and yeah i'll catch you in my next video bye